to Cooking Live. I'm very excited to introduce our guest today. This is Abby. Hi. You are in ISU's dietetic program, yes? Yes, I'm in their dietetic internship. Right. So you're going to be a dietitian someday soon. Yes, hopefully by June. <laughs> hopefully by June. Yes, well, everybody keep good thoughts out there for Abby. Um, so what brought you, well, how did you get interested in nutrition? Um, you know, I was at Lincoln Lane Community College at first, and I took my first anatomy class. And I've always loved food and cooking and walking through the grocery store. But seeing that anatomy class and seeing how nutrition really interacts with the body was just so fun and so interesting. So I had to find out that there was a whole field about it, and I was so excited and got well, into it. I love it. I love being a dietitian, and I think it is the coolest job ever. So welcome to the field. Thank you. What are you cooking for us today? We are doing kind of a quick, easy, spiced beans and rice. Oh, um, okay. It's extremely like using kind of partially pre-made ingredients like a tomato basil progressive soup as part of it, as well as I always use brown like minute rice or parboiled rice as well just to cut down on cooking time. Well, yeah, because brown rice will take like 45 minutes to cook. So yeah. I bet this makes it much easier to make on a student's budget and time, time. Yeah. and schedule. <laughs> Definitely. Cool. So we got some good fiber here, it looks like. We got some whole yeah. grains, and what's in our bowl there? All right, so we have black beans and kidney beans. Um, you could definitely do this with any bean of your preference. Mm -hmm. If you just like black beans, feel free to just do black beans. If you like garbanzo beans a lot, you could definitely add those in. So I know people are gonna point out the cans and be like, whoa, what about salt? So what about salt here? Sure. So you can also find reduced sodium already in the cans. But on top of that, you can definitely... It looks like that's what you got there. Yep. Right? Okay. Reduce sodium cans. And on top of that, you can rinse the beans as well. Um, so you drain them and rinse them. And that just helps get some of that uh, salt residue that was on and in that liquid mixture that they sit in in the can. Okay. And so you've got us pre-rinsed, yep. pre-drained. Um, tell us a little bit about that liquid that beans are in. Because that can be... That can cause some people some trouble. Yes. And so the... Bean juice or bean it's, juice. I it's love it. I love it. Like, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you can hear like the term aquafaba be used nowadays, okay. especially with garbanzo beans. Um, and it's just what they're used so that way they don't go bad in the cans. It's just the canning process for them. But sometimes that juice in there, if you're eating a lot of that as well, it can cause some digestive issues. Mm. It'll maybe increase your gas or just give you an upset stomach as well. Well, cool. So let's get let's get going. We got sure. drain and rinse beans. Yeah. And we have partially cooked rice over here already, just so that way you guys don't have to watch us boil water. And you've just followed the, the directions on the yeah, box, yeah? exactly how you the box says. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it says minute rice. How yeah. long does it actually take to make the rice? It actually takes probably more around 10 minutes plus the time it takes to boil the water okay. beforehand. So cool. maybe, depending on your stove range, 15 to 20 minutes. Right. So do we need to turn this burner on? Yeah. All right, I'll just get it fired up there. Uh, what temp? About medium heat. All right, um, there so we go. rice is cooked. We are going to add the tomato basil soup. Um, you could, if you have like your own tomato soup recipe that you like to make at home, you could use it for this. Um, probably just about two cups worth. Um, you can just lay that there. All, all right, right. thanks. <laughs> um, or again, I just use Progressive's version because they're typically a little lower in sodium and um, don't have too many other like extra high fructose corn syrup or things like that sure. that can kind of mess with the flavor of tomato there, soups. There, we don't um, talk a lot about brands here on Cooking Live, but when we do, we have a good reason to. And just fair warning, I love Progresso soups as well. If you are looking for a seriously low sodium diet, you probably want, you're always going to be better off making it at home. But if you don't have high blood pressure or other cardiac issues, it's fine to use some of these pre-made ingredients. The Progresso line does have a lot of good, healthy options. So, so I was kind of jazzed whenever I saw that you had that in your in your ingredient list. Yeah, I love their soup choices. Um, so I'm just stirring in the soup right now, making sure that rice is throughout the soup at this point. Kind of just like looks like soupy rice. <laughs> soupy rice. Um, and then I'm gonna add the drained and rinsed beans. Okay, I'll get that in your way there. And with this recipe as well, you can definitely play with the ratios on beans to rice. If you haven't had too many like bean-focused dishes, definitely start maybe with just one can of uh, beans to one serving of rice. You know, just kind of play around with it until you find that version of the recipe you like. 
So you got some beans and rice there. Yeah. Why is it? Why are we putting beans and rice in there? Because aren't those both carbs? Like I know that's yeah, another thing that's people want to think. Um, so beans are actually and rice can be an excellent source of protein, but you really need them together to make a complete protein. Um, what is a complete Ooh, protein? Right. So a lot of people think of proteins as just meat or like fish or poultry. Um, but protein can be found in a lot of our food sources already. But they might not have all of those par parts of protein or amino acids that we need to actually like live and survive and strive. But if you have beans, which are an incomplete protein, that have protein in them but not all of the amino acids, and then rice, which is also an incomplete protein, they pair really, really <laughs> well together. And they make a complete one that has everything that we need to keep moving on with our protein life. Well, that makes sense, because like, think of all of the different ethnic, like food ethnicities out there, and beans and rice come together a lot. Yes. Grain, and uh, grain and beans yeah. come together often. Yeah, to make that complete protein. Definitely. And yeah, so it's not just rice, if you could use... Um, like bulgar or farro, as well as another type of grains that can pair perfectly with any sort of bean or legume, really. So do you follow a vegetarian lifestyle yourself? I do. I have been for kind of on and off for the past couple of years, but definitely more purely vegetarian for probably the past year or so. What inspired you to do that? So for me, I just wasn't feeling well. Mm -hmm. I was just kind of feeling sluggish. I had digestive issues going on. And I tried so many things you hear about, like gluten-free and everything <laughs> like that. I tried so much um, to try and see like what's going on. And eventually I decided I'm just going to cut out meat, including like red meats, poultry. Um, I still eat fish occasionally though. But I felt so much better. Nice. I stopped having as bad digestive issues. I felt a little more energy in my life when I wasn't like feeling kind of greasy and bogged down by me. Yeah. Cool. So a couple of years and still working. Yeah. Still working for me. It's yeah. amazing. It's very possible to be totally healthy and follow a plant-based diet. In fact, a lot of people would benefit from them. You mentioned digestive issues being one reason you might want to follow yeah. that diet. But who else? Who else can you think of might benefit from following more of a plant-based pattern? Sure. So if you are a person who perhaps has um, an issue eating too much saturated fat or cholesterol issues, a plant-based diet could help do those labs out a bit just because it's naturally going to be lower in saturated fat since there's no meat product in there. Um, as well as if you um, are just trying something new sure. as well, um, it can help lose weight. You help you lose weight in a way. Of course, you can gain weight on this too. Um, well, plant based does not mean low calorie, right. but it's in a lot of ways lower calorie than some other things. Right. It gives you the opportunity to focus on whole grains and vegetables, really. I just love that. It gives you the opportunity. You guys, I did not coach her. She is a dietitian in the making. Opportunities, yeah. reframing. It gives you the opportunities for more vegetables. And so those are going to be naturally lower in calories overall. Seize the opportunity to yeah. eat more vegetables, people. Because um, it can be the focus of the meal, and it gives you, as well as you can fill up on those vegetables then before filling up on sure. your meat portion. Well, and it's good for our planet. Yes. And it's good for our pocketbooks. Yeah, it's so budget friendly. If you go to the grocery store and just pick out these ingredients versus buying meat on top of probably ingredients like these to go along with a meat dish, yeah. um, it's definitely going to be cheaper overall in yeah. the end. The meat department is hands down your most expensive section of the grocery store. And um, we do have a convenience product here, the Minute Rice, but it's like $2 a box, 2 to 3 yeah. in there. And you could definitely make some brown rice in the beginning of the sure. week and add it into different meals And that's well. just pennies a serving. Yeah. Cans of beans are already less than a dollar each. If you wanted to make them from dry, yeah. that would save you even more. So you could feed a family of four for less than a dollar a person. Definitely. All right. This is uh, boiling, what we come over there. We can season it up. Sure. Okay. Got my granite top here, so we can just put our hot pan right there. Yep. I'm just going to add some black ground pepper. Um, now this recipe is definitely going to taste. You can kind of play with it how you want, but it's probably about a teaspoon of black pepper in there. Yeah. More or less for your, for your taste. Yeah. 
And then I also add cumin in there. We were talking earlier how cumin's not everyone's favorite spice, but I think it adds something a little fun and different to uh, beans and rice dish. Some people might just do like garlic and onion in there. Kind of adds another spin on it. Well, in the recipe Abby's got here, a can of red beans, a can of black beans, a helping a serving of brown rice with some tomato soup. That's a blank canvas. You can you can make it more Caribbean. You could probably put yeah. some jerk seasoning in there. For sure. You could make it more um, like Indian. You could put some different um, spices there, maybe some like curry type. You could make it more Italian with some Italian seasonings. It's yeah. really very versatile. Yeah. So do you find, because if you were eating this on your own, college student, yes. how many meals would this make you? Um, I'll, yeah, I'll face so it to four the, there. It would probably make me about four to five dinners, to mm, be honest. Um, yeah. And with this as well, you can have like zucchini with it. You can add in like just have a side salad with it if you'd like. Um, or add in like green beans. I've done that before with it. Add it right in the pot? Right, add it right in the pot. Cool, I um, love it. Yeah, no need to make it a separate dish. <laughs> Don't make it fancy. Yeah, yeah. and then sometimes, um, you know, you can add just like a little bit of cheese on top if you're kind of getting bored of it. I've added just a fried egg on top of a serving before. It's really a nice base for it. Yes. You can go a lot of places from this yeah. pot. You can also have just this and it's... I love it. It's fast, meal. it's cheap, mm -hmm. it's easy, yeah. it's nutritious. Yeah. And it's versatile. So um, thank you for coming on our yes. cooking live show to, to talk to people about the, the plant-based word. Yeah. It's good stuff. I can't wait to talk to you next time. This pot smells delicious. I can't wait to have a little helping of it for lunch. We will see you soon.